My name is Tierra Range and I attend Centenary College of Louisiana and today I plan to tell you about my favorite elephant. Man, it's so dark in this room. I wish I could see these notes that I'm studying. Ah, much better. That was so simple that I'm pretty sure most of you don't even think about turning on a light switch before you do it. But have you ever thought about what is used to make something like this light up an entire room? There's one element in particular that's been used to brighten things up for quite some time. Want to know what it is? Well, here's a few hints. Its atomic number is 74. Its symbol is W. And besides a light bulb, it's also used for something as fancy as a wedding ring or as simple as a ballpoint pen. Still stumped? It's tungsten. Tungsten is a transition metal. It is shiny and grayish white in color. Its atomic mass is 183.84 atomic mass units, and as I mentioned earlier, its atomic number is 74. This means that each atom of tungsten has 74 protons in its nucleus. In neutral form, this is also equal to the number of electrons in the atom's electron cloud. Among other things, tungsten can conduct electricity, which is why it was one of the components of light bulbs for a long time. It's also fairly easy to shape and mold, kind of like Play-Doh, which makes it great for forming into a pretty ring or into the smooth tip of a writing pen. I'm sure you're wondering why tungsten's symbol on the periodic table is W. That's because its original name is Wolfram, after Wolframite, which is the mineral from which it was discovered. Other than its ability to help us light up a room, take notes in class, or accessorize, it helps us in many other ways too. Doctors have an easier time looking at x-rays and operating on us thanks to tungsten. And with the help of this awesome element, we get to see outer space because tungsten parts are used on spaceships too. We're pretty lucky to have tungsten in our lives. It has simple, extravagant, and extremely important applications that help us in many different ways. And it surely shouldn't be taken for granted. You should remember this video the next time you're taking notes in class or the next time you just wish there was a little bit more light in the room while you're studying them.